We're with James Weaver, ex Le Mans driver. How are you enjoying Auto Legends today, James? It's absolutely fantastic. Got a great group of people and some great cars. Tell us about yourself um, and what you've been up to on the racing circuit and the scene. Well, I suppose the reason I was invited here today is because I've raced at Le Mans. And that's the theme of the event. And I first raced there in 83 for Mazda in the small C2 class and finished second. In 85, I drove for Richard Lloyd and his Canon Porsche 956, driving with Richard and Jonathan Palmer. And we finished second. And I did it another 11 times after that and got steadily worse. Steadily worse. So you've done 13 overall. Yeah. Um, and what's your, your most memorable, favourite part of being the Le Mans racing driver? I think just the sheer exhilaration of being able to run flat out for such an extended period of time because in the old days the Mulsanne straight was three and a half miles and you just sit in the car and it would get up 190, 200, 210, 220 and it would just slowly build up speed all the way down the straight and well that's not true probably about a mile from the end it would that would be it and you just sit there flat out and massively exciting. Element of risk of course, any uh, near misses? Yeah, I had a, the only time I had near misses was when you get a puncture because um, when the tyre fails, when you're going very fast, the centrifugal force holds the tyre up and the cars move around so much because it's a public road and it's very bumpy, you can't actually tell there's anything wrong with the tyre until you try and turn or you slow down, at which point the tyre explodes, and which causes a huge amount of excitement and if it's a rear tyre, on something like a Porsche. It takes all the bodywork out, it would take the oil line off the turbocharger, take the brake pipe out. So you've got a puncture, you're on fire with no yeah. brakes, spinning like a top, none of which is good. That's not going to be pretty. No, no, that's is it? definitely not good. Not going to be pretty. What cars do you own at the moment? Um, I've got a, I drive a Lotus Elise myself, and the family car's an Audi A4 Quattro Estate. Okay. That's nice. It's it, fair enough. It is. I, the, the, the Lotus I love because yeah. it's small, light, um, you know, it's a great little car. Yeah. You enjoy driving, but you need a bit of a sense of humour. Yeah. Well, um, it corners well, well, doesn't it? It does. And, you know, it's, it's small enough, whereas most sports cars, whether it's a Ferrari or Porsche, they're just too big, I think. You look back to how big a, like a Frog Eye Sprite was or an MG Midget. Right. You know, they are getting bigger. They, they are, are getting bigger. Which I think is wrong. <laughs> you should be able to buy a small, fast car. <laughs> Not like those Le Mans, eh? <laughs> well, no, a Le Mans car is vast. It's two yeah. metres wide. That, yeah. You know, which is huge. Yeah. But of course, the more plan area you have, the more aerodynamic downforce mm. you can make. So everybody makes them as wide as the regulations sure. allow. You doing any racing, any other types at the um, moment? Yeah, I raced in America for 22 years. Right. And, um, yeah, you know, won three championships over there. Must have finished runner-up three or four times. Oh, brilliant. And in 96, I was lucky enough to drive Ray Belm in the Gulf uh, McLaren. Yeah. And we won the Global GT Championship that year. So I've had a great time doing it. I was just rubbish at Le Mans. <laughs> well, to have 13 attempts, I was fantastic. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it, really? Well, you, you couldn't have been that bad. Well, Let's be honest about it. <laughs> well, Derek, Derek Bell won it five times. I thought, I know. All I've got to do is drive with Derek Bell and everything will be fine. But <laughs> it's got to turn up. difference either. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is a perfect gentleman, consummate professional and he's just massively good at his job. But probably Derek's strongest point is if the car's good, he'll be shatteringly fast. Yeah. And as the car goes away during the race, he'll still be shatteringly fast. Right. Whereas, you know, for me, if the car went away, I'd slow down, whereas Derek never did. And that's why it's such a fantastic chap to have in the car. Yeah, really. excellent. James, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very and, much. And um, hopefully we'll see you again in the future. I'll definitely come back next year. We, we'll see you next year. I look forward <laughs> to it. Bye. Bye-bye.